Well, hello. Let's get this live started. First, I have to look if I can see myself. Yes, I can. Now to see if other people are coming in and if I can see your comments. Yes. Hello. I see more people coming in. Hello. Hi Miranda. Hi Jenny. Hello. Hi my feet. Ah. Here you all come. Hi Anna. Hi, a long time no see. <laughs> I visited on a, this afternoon. I see Els coming in. Hi Els. Let's get this party started. Yes. Let's do it. Hi Charlene. Hi Suzanne. Oh wow. You're all coming in. Right. Let's um, tell you what we're going to do today. <laughs> I'm not getting nervous. Simona. Are you going to watch uh, all the time? Because I don't know if I can handle that. Hi, Li Linda. Hi, Elizabeth Craft Design. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Ilse. Hi, Leontine. So, hi, Edith. Um, we're going to make this really cute envelope from the new uh, Sidekick collection. Um, Everybody uh, saw the new collection this uh, weekend, of course, so we're all super, super excited that finally everybody could see what Esther made and how well she made it. And I really love this little envelope. So I thought let's do um, one of these and give it a mixed media look. I thought that would be fun. Hi Rona. You found it. Yay. Hi Rita from the Seattle area. Hi Claudia. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how I made uh, this cutie. Um, and of course I am going to make one from start to finish. So this is the die as you can um, as you get it when you uh, put it through the die cutting machine um, and else or someone from Elizabeth Prof Croft probably can help me from which die set this one is because of course I forgot to look that up so sorry hello all of can't wait until site is available for purchase hi Rick one more week and our side get goodies will be shipped. Yay! So then um, let's get some, uh, give you some more inspiration. Um, I'm just going to take a white sheet of paper because I'm going to work with uh, some crackle paste, something you have seen me do before. Um, I really like the effect with the watercolors. And today I'm going to add some more, uh, not only watercolors, but you will see that later. Sidekick Essentials 8. Okay, tomorrow I get the die. The post is coming. Yeah, well, post is really a, a thing uh, in this uh, in this Corona times, of course, because some some post is really taking its, its time to get uh, on the destination. I'm using the uh, stencil, that's the word, the stencil from our Art Journal Specials collection. I really love this, uh, this text stencil, but as Ilse and I say all the time, oh, we say that with everything, everything is our favorite and we love it all. So that, that's always fun when you can say something like that. Of your own work it's always a bit crazy actually 
a little late, Tamara. No, you're not a little late. I'm only four minutes. I'm only four minutes into my life. So um, the only thing I uh, told everybody is this is what we're going to make this evening. I'm going to show you how I made this. And this is from the new Psychic collection. So let's get started. I'm just um, putting the cracker paste through the stencil. And yes, that means that because we're going to fold it, that this will be um, upright and this will be, um, this is not, because now this is um, uh, on backwards, because we're, we are going to fold it. But I'm not really worried about that. If that is something that would bother you, then you would have to do this part like this and then you have to turn it and then go um, like this but since I'm not bothered by something that's a little bit flipped or not completely right I'm just going to work like this also share thank you I just discovered this I want all of this I love Elizabeth Croft dice now Oh, well, Norma, welcome to the, to the family. So, I'm just going to put the crackle paste on this. And I'm not being real neat with this, just getting most of it covered because I do want quite some of the text on my background going to work on top of it with other materials so you, you won't be seeing all of it just like this and then I pull it off and now I have my text like that just put this to the side And I can um, heat this crackle paste. It's from Cosmic Shimmer with my heat tool. And yes, my heat tool makes a little bit of a weird sound because it dropped on the floor once. Yes, we're all, we're all a little flip. Yes, we are. Do you apply a thick layer? No, I don't really apply apply a thick layer I really put it through the stencil and then I just like you would um, put uh, like butter on a on a sandwich I just scrape it off so it's the thickness of my stencil really and while I'm drying it it's going to crackle but you won't be able to see that on uh, on this video, I think. But I'm really searching just for the effect that you will be able to see the letters. So you won't have to use a crackle paste. You can use a regular modeling paste or like an extra heavy gesso maybe. Just something that um, reacts on the watercolor. See if this is dry enough. Yes, I guess it is. Hey, Gaby. Nice to see you. Yes, it's really fun to use that together with watercolors because it works as a resist. Um, it's an acrylic based product. So that means there is some plastic in it and the plastic will resist the pigments of the watercolor. Not completely, but they, it does resist. So when you put your watercolors on top, you will still be able to see the words. And I'm not really 
particular on, on how I'm applying the watercolor. It's just plopping on watercolor on the paper just here and there. I'm not going to completely fill my paper because I do like to see some white areas. And I start with the lighter color and then I'm applying a darker color watercolor. <laughs> Not from the start. I'm so sorry. Will these be available in the US? For sure they will. I know personally like software cardstock. Are you using watercolor paper? Yes, I am using watercolor paper. Um, that's just something I really like to use and I am used to using it because I do work with watercolors a lot. So that's why I'm really used to using watercolor paper. And this is really thick actually because I had this laying around and this is uh, 300 grams watercolor paper. <coughs> Then I just apply it on the edges a little bit darker and I will be working on this later. So after I dried it, I actually with the lighter color did some splattering. So you see the splatters on the white spots. And then I dried this or you can dry it, yeah, make it air dry. Um, let it air dry so you can um, stitch <coughs> uh, on the on the borders so like I did in my example you see that I used my sewing machine to make a stitched edge if you saw my live from last month then I also showed you how you can uh, use like hand stitched make hand stitch borders or just do some hand stitching if you don't have a sewing machine because uh, I understand not everybody has a sewing machine to use for their craft project so that's something that you can do if you don't have a sewing machine <coughs> and yes I'm coughing again Um, let me know if you can find the correct place of search a fair bit. Or for the um, Cosmic Shimmer Crackle Paste. Yes, you're in. Living in the US, Karen. Do you use black and green now? No. I have used a teal color and a really dark... Um, Yes, it's a, it's a blue green, really dark. And I'm I um, mix them on the paper. Now, while that's drying, that if it's dry, you can use your sewing machine. And because I don't want to um, bother you guys in this life with me sewing on my sewing machine, and then the thread will of course. Uh, get a go go out of the needle and i will be doing that for like forever so i prepped this it's exactly the same it's just dried uh, the paint is dry and i did the stitching on the borders so next step that's fast now i want as you can see my uh, edges i want to make them a little bit more dark and maybe some like they are a little bit weathered so i'm now using uh, nail color two crayons to do to get that effect so at first i'm just go going over my paper just like this on the edges a little and this i did this after i stitched my um my paper so that's not a problem at all. As I mentioned, I did use a thicker paper. So I'm first putting the pigments of the crayons 
on the edges just like that and then I'm taking a little a smaller brush and I'm working the pigments on the edges like just like that using water because they are water soluble now I need a sewing machine <laughs> I actually had mine for quite some time I have the real memory keepers uh, sewing machine and I didn't use it at all at first but now I'm totally hooked um, wouldn't as especially recommend that one but the sewing machine is a lot of fun it is I have been using it a lot So just working that in and then you can still, while it's wet, you can make it a little bit darker with the crayon because it will dilute because the paper is already like a bit wet. Great effect. I still need everything Shalene is showing. <laughs> And then uh, to make it even more like a grungy effect, I'm using a dark brown. I'm just working that in from the other sides and then I will blend them where they, where the colors meet each other. I'm just like working that in and because the wa there's watercolor uh, in the first layer that will mix in with the brown a little and then you get that cool brown bluish effect and those two colors actually go pretty well together you shouldn't be mixing them in like on your palette because then you will get brown of course this is just to make it a little bit of a grungy effect which I really like what did you say the crayons where what did you say the crayons where I missed it Neo, oh Neo Colors 2 yes and you have Neo, just regular Neo Colors just you have to when you if you want to buy them you have to uh, make sure you have the two, um, nail color two, not the one on the regular nail colors because they aren't water soluble. Just be aware of that. And you can mix them as you can see on the paper and not because it's watercolor paper, um, the paper won't tear. It, it can handle this and just the mixing there don't rub it too hard of course because then you will peel off the first uh, layer of paper so I think this is okay of course a bit of that will be folded so you won't be able to see everything I'm doing and even you can even put a little bit of that Crayon like this. And I can do some brown splatters just to get a, a cool effect. So, really like using both of the 
products together. So I think that's enough. Now I'm going to dry it so we can work on it some more. It's beautiful. Thank you, Ruli. I really think it's so much fun that like all these collections, I have mentioned that many times before, are like so versatile because of course you can do it in all kinds of different styles. I've seen so many lovely um, examples with the sidekick and the design team uh, already. So that's really cool that everybody can do it in their own style and you can see so many different cool layouts and I really wanted to show you how you can do it even like with this pocket you can make a complete uh, mixed media project of it hi from Amsterdam hello Anneke so I think this is okay so I have to look how to fold it and the threads that are inside I can cut them off of course like this I think I don't have to line that up so you can use this it will fit perfectly in the planner and I even thought of it that you can even for the people that um, work in like a different journal you can with washi tape you can make a really cute um, tip in of this one so that's really cool as well um, before I glue it I have to make sure oh no something fell in my water uh, to get those how are the how are these called how are these called else please help me do you know how these are uh, how these are called to put uh, through the holes brats yes of course thank you brats and i really had to <laughs> go and look for them because I'm not I didn't use brats a lot last uh, couple of months actually maybe like even for for a couple of years I'm not a real that's something that I didn't uh, use in the last time because I never make something like this anymore but this is so much fun I really like this envelope I think it's one of my favorites and I saw this complete book that Esther made of it like a little journal I really like that eyelets yeah I I wanted to say eyelets hi Sherry from Katie Texas Houston hello and I'll look and see if I have how much is there in shops. Okay. For Polina, you're going to look back tomorrow. So I'm hoping you have a fun evening. And then I can glue it. Because if you don't put this on and you glue it, then you can ha don't have this closure anymore. So that's something I could forget. Let's see. glue and because I worked on this with the crackle paste I am going to use a wet glue but of course you can use double-sided um, adhesive to glue this together but I know that with um, the crackle paste and the it isn't right it sh 
should be like this, of course. Just like that. I almost did that wrong, and you have. To, I, I was thinking about that this afternoon because I didn't make uh, one of these pockets before, and you have to glue it like this because if you want to stick something in it you don't want to hit this um, this edge all the time so you have to make sure it's on the outside and not on the inside so I had to look what uh, how Esther did it and I saw that she did it on the outside so like that and sometimes when I'm gluing this, I'm just taking one of these just to make sure it will hold. hold. And then I have this like this. I really like this. Uh, it's a rose gold uh, or copper, maybe. A tiny eyelet could work for the bastard. Yes, it could. A absolutely. I even had some of them them in uh, my collection from years ago I found them all because I was searching for them to make this and then I found my brads and my eyelets again and I thought oh yes that's fun now I can see all kinds of options and I of course don't want to make the life uh, too long but I even thought that it would be so cool to make like a little um, shrinkfold charm and you could like hang it on this closure that would be so cool so I will be doing that and then I will show it on the Facebook group of course so let's go on with the yes this I made it so that you will see this first and then just flip it like that because now if you do it like this it's on upside down I have loads of eyelets that I never use which 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 size this one is this is yeah they are they come in three sizes and this is the middle the middle one there is a smaller one and a, a larger one this is so nice thank you Patricia so now we all have found a new reason to buy more eyelets and more brads. So um, for this I um, used some uh, cheesecloth and of course uh, some um, burlap rope and this banner from the uh, Sidekick collection. I really think that's just so pretty. I really love that banner. Great demo. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you, Suzanne. And then I have this uh, cheesecloth. I actually got this from uh, Leonie from our design team. And since I got it, I'm totally hooked. So, of course, I have to buy more. And what I do, I just uh, cut it like uh, a little bit and then I just rip rip it. It's like anger management or something And then I just see how much I have to use and then I just cut it like that and then you have all this Maybe you should, can't see it, but you have all these little wires and things and I really like this effect and then I put this as a background and I, then I put the rope on top I love the whole sidekick collection yes Yona absolutely love the complete sidekick collection it's so much fun and you can use everything with everything you can really use all collections together that's so much Fun. Just putting this on top of it, so 
just like that and then I'm just building these layers just looking just to see it of course on camera you won't be able to see the white on this white background a lot but in uh, when you see it in real life you will totally notice that there is something going on back there and then the beautiful goes on top of that and of course I had to use this cool lantern from our art journal specials collection because this element is really so cool to use on your mixed media projects of course it's so cool to use on cars and stuff but I really like how this goes uh, in like little corners or just like you can cut off the lantern or just just use it without the lantern in a corner it just you can use it in all kinds of ways bandages is for bonds yes you can use bandages in the bath medical medical gaze yes anger management <laughs> yes we all need some anger management sometimes and then better to just get some mixed media projects and use a lot of cheesecloth just to get it all out and then I take it all and of course my big friend the tiny attacher and just attach it like that Mm, let's see one over here like that and now when it's all together stuck together I'm just going to glue it on there and you can even like put a little picture up here or like a little photo strip you can tuck it behind it that will be will give a really cool effect as well <laughs> lots of cheesecloth <coughs> it's a very good anger management like that uh, let me see I think my good girls hi everybody hi Evelyn really you like the lantern yes I really like it as well I we have used a lot of the lantern in our uh, junk journals as well really cool element to use in junk journals just putting this tacky glue on and then gluing it all at once Like that. So that's cool. Really like those. How this is turning out. Then all I have to do on this side is um, get my uh, reinforcements on there. And I took the reinforcement set because I really for this um, pocket and because I have a lot of stuff going on there I really like those small reinforcers just to have um, a little bit of the effect of the black reinforcement it really is uh, it's cool to see but I didn't want them to be too big because it's already really busy of course and I really like the small rings for that but that's just what you would like aqua and yellow yes it's a thing for me you know that I last time I did something in green so now I just thought I could do something in aqua and yellow again 
I love the lantern too. Yes. And let me do this side since I'm now putting on all the reinforcements. I can put this one on, of course. And I used a double sided adhesive before I die cutted it, so that makes them go on really easy. Wetenschap. I'm not. I'm actually really not not sick, but I I have COPD, so I I j just the change of weather just makes me cough. Because but it's nothing serious, and I'm feeling absolutely fine. But thank you. Just like this, and then for the closure, I'm just using some hemp cord. Just a little bit and just put that behind it. And then when I was doing this, then I thought it would be really cool just to hang a little element on there as well, just for fun. So you can really build even on more on top of this, on, on top of all these layers. And then just like that. That's enough, I think. Uh, let's see, like this, because um, on this side, I thought maybe I can do a text or just just leave it like that. I'm, you know, I really like a lot of stuff on my projects, but then I thought maybe just leave it because the the effect with the colors and the like the weather effect is so cool that it's really a shame to just put all the stuff on there. But and then I saw in this beautiful there's this um, little heart that falls out when you die cut it and i really like using that small heart i have used it many times before on other um, projects i think i will start a mixed media pocket myself this evening love of my hands are crying for crafting yes ilza show what you made please love it i am it's very beautiful thank you just so I just put a little bit of glue on the heart and just put it there not something you would notice but now you know and you would know you will notice it now if you see it in my planner and let me get my little sidekick um, actually took off some projects because I didn't want to show that all but now I can put it like in there just so much fun and that was my life for today so I hope you with coffee filters. I think I missed something. Love it. I'm in the Netherlands. The <laughs> 15. <laughs> yes, you can have it else. If that's, uh, I will take it out again. <laughs> um, so, um, yes, that's it. I hope you um, you liked uh, this little project. Just um, showing you what you can do with uh, with this die with some uh, mixed media um, layers. Um, don't know if anyone has any questions, um, but that, uh, if if not, I um, 
I will be ending this live and I will show you close up close up pictures in the group in um, in just a few minutes because I already make, made some pictures so I will show you so you can see it even better and then um, I will see you next time that will be the second Monday of July so really time is going really fast um, yes that's it thank you for watching see you again and have a nice day or a nice evening bye bye